something that no one has spoken about here in Diablo Immortal with the latest update is the intro screen. It's back to the OG Diablo Immortal intro screen. And I have to say, I love it. It kind of just brings me back. This is what it should be looking like. Now, we love the Blood Knight and all, but it's nice to have the Diablo on the main screen again. Also, something I noticed is um, our pets are not featured on the intro screen here when we're choosing our, our uh, account. It doesn't show our pets, which I thought maybe they would show there, but apparently they're not. But today I want to talk about literally my one gripe. I have one thing that I wish was different about the update, and uh, I have to say, it's a small thing. I'm actually quite happy with the update overall. I think that Blizzard did a really good job with it, and it looks really nice. Everything plays really well. Everything is fairly free to play from what we've seen. Tower defense mode is great. Pets are great. Everything is great. Even the new fractured plane is a heck of a lot of fun. But there's one thing that does tickle my fancy in a negative way. And that has to do with our pets as well. So let's go on over to our familiars. So you can kind of see where I am. If you missed this morning's video, I did just put out a video on me um, doing 10 Legendary Crests. Because, as I mentioned, a little teaser, I am redoing, completely rebuilding my Crusader. But my pets are looking good. We are going to be able to get this guy, Storm Lost, to max today very easily. We got Virag, who we uh, we melded. We got other 30s. And I'm just waiting for 5,000 gold to unlock that slot. But I'm really focusing in on here on the Dusk Prowler because I love the shield. And for the new build that I'm putting together, the shield is great. But I think what we need to do to kind of demonstrate... Actually, we have bounties here, right? To kind of demonstrate my, uh, my issue that I'm having with it. We're going to go to the Dark Wood. We're going to run one of the bounties, and I'm going to demonstrate why I think pets need a small buff. And I'm not talking about damage. I'm not talking about healing. I'm not talking about abilities. I'm talking about something very, very simple, which could be just a tweaking of the uh, the numbers here by Blizzard. So you are getting a little sneak peek here of my, of my build, right? But look, I'm going to just run past everything. I'm just going to run past stuff. My pet's going to be following me. We're running along, all right? I'm looking for dots, trying to see where we could get some stuff. And and I'm noticing that unless if I slow down and really stay somewhere, that things are kind of being left behind. And let me know if you've been seeing this as well. We're going to run right past, run right past. Boom, we're going around the tree. We're coming back. Now, I'm not even with 100% uptime on my horse, right? But do you find that your pets are leaving behind gold, gear, and things like that. I feel like if I get myself, look at that, the quills right there, they weren't picked up, right? Oh uh, no, that's a person, let's see. Now the cat gets the quill. That was three quills left behind right there that really I would have anticipated and hoped that my pet would pick up. I find myself, especially when farming, feeling that I need to backtrack so that my pet will pick up the items. And I don't want to have to worry about that. I really feel like we should just be able to run through and our pets should quickly... Where, where am I stuck right here? We should be able to just run through and our pets should be able to just pick everything up without us having to worry about anything. But I always feel like I have to do a little circle back like this just to grab a bunch of stuff. Now, obviously, pets don't pick up everything. I haven't really seen them pick up any, uh, any potions or... Is there someone over here stealing my stuff? You're stealing my stuff, Asus. See, look, running. Okay, cat, cat got that. Cat got your tongue. What? That's it. That, that was that was my point right there. I, I think that the pets need to be quicker on the pickup, and if they're near it, it needs to just be automatically picked up. When I'm farming, I don't like having to circle back. That's it. It was a quick video. I just want to let you guys know that's literally my only thing that I'm a little griping over right here. The events that we have going on inside of the game today. Hungering Moon, of course. We're making sure that we pick up our all of our blessings. What am I getting? I'm going for the normal gems first, which we could actually buy another one right there. Oh, we're going to go with these. Yes, we like those. And um, that's actually it. I can't get any more. Next, I'm going to probably go with Aspirant Keys. Uh, we'll, we'll get everything. Let's be honest. We're going to get everything. We're going to get the Legendary Crest. We're going to get our Taloric Pearl. And you want to take a sneak peek at the build? Here. Here's your sneak peek at the build, guys. We got ourselves a two-piece 
mount back, a four-piece flagellant, and a two-piece vithu. I'm going to be going for a four-piece right here of mount back, and uh, you can just kind of see all the gear that we're utilizing here. It's a lot about support. A lot about support. It's going to take a while to get this built out. As you can see, we just got our Phoenix Ashes. I just bought a two-star. I'm not worried about uh, resonance. I'm just worried about the abilities here. We also went here with a Frozen Heart gem as well because of... Where is it? When you take damage, activate a Frigid Shield for six seconds that chills enemy attackers and absorbs damage equal to 180% of your base damage. It's all about staying alive. With that being said, I do feel that I am not in love with all the skills I've chosen. I like to be fast, so I really like to use draw and quarter, but I can't put an essence on it. Condemn does no damage. Holy banner, oh, I'm sorry, condemn does do damage. Holy banner, no damage. Conjuration of light, no damage. Draw and quarter, little damage. And with the lack of uptime here, I'm finding that I need one more damage dealer, which, I'm not sure what it should be because I don't want to sacrifice the speed and I really can't sacrifice any of these. So we got to figure it out. But how do you feel about your pets? Are they picking up enough stuff or are they leaving too much behind?